So we get ready for our first bout in the ring. Arthur Harrison out of Hillcrest. He's in the black trunks. While Cornell Holton is in the blue and white, the blue trunks with white trim out of Langdon Recreation Center. And there's the town. And there's town all over this ring. Of course, we had the noted ring announcer and all. <laughs> Jones. We had Floyd Fav Floyd Favors is a referee. He's a was a very prominent professional in his day. And of course in the training we had Daryl Tyson in the in the corner of Cornell Holton and Arthur Harrison being trained by Vardell McCann out of Hillcrest. And Arthur Harrison throwing shots alongside with uh, along with Cornell Holton in this first round. He's really pressing the action here, Gary. I'm talking about Harrison, but I'm I'm also uh, really pleased to see the Holton's defense. He's, he's shown a lot of defensive savvy here early on in this first round. Of course, he's going to have to be more offensive-minded as well. You want to not get hit, but at the same time, you've got to score punches. And so he's got to work more on the offensive end of his game. But uh, both guys are kind of at least initially doing what they want to do, I think. And now we're starting to see a little bit more offense from Colton as well. I mean, Holton, Holton, big deal in this one as we finish our first round. These are three one-minute rounds, and the crowd enjoying the work of both Cornell Holton and Arthur Harrison. Well, the thing about uh, amateur boxing at this level, very, was particularly when you get the uh, young men at this age, they're just, con they're just starting off and learning the fundamentals of the sport. Uh, in many cases, both camps are, are, are working with these kids at a very fundamental level to try to make sure they don't pick up any bad habits right off the bat because in many cases, you know, some of those bad habits you pick up as an amateur, if you do move on to the pro ranks, in many instances it takes years to undo some of the things that some of the bad things some of these folks have picked up on the amateur side if they're not careful. So you might as well start off the right way and then you don't have to undo things. Take a look at the Harrison corner. That's Bardell McCann with, with, our back, with his back to us. Was a long-time trainer, both amateur and professional, in the corner of Arthur Harrison out of Hillcrest. Let's get ready for round two, three one-minute one minute rounds in this 55-pound division. And both Holton and Harrison, they 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 come out primed and ready to go in the in their opening stances, and they this is the second time in a row they've met right at the center of the ring and just commenced to going at each other there. So both men landing really well. Cornell Houghton laying in right hand. Uh, I think Harrison is, uh, at, this, at this point, being more aggressive, and that's probably giving him a, a slight edge as far as uh, how, how the, uh, the scores are perhaps looking at this. It's really interesting to see. Uh, you, you, re you really have no losers at this, at this level, but obviously somebody's going to get the nod in this, and I think uh, Houghton's going to have to do a little bit more if he's going to try to turn this thing around and get back in, perhaps in the winner's side of this. Final 10 seconds, round two. And nice right hand by Cornell Houghton. Referee favors calling for the break as this second round comes to a close. So again, Gary, I'd have to say a, a very good round for, for Harrison. Houghton held his own, but uh, I think that the aggressiveness and the perhaps the accuracy of Harrison Perhaps might have him in a little bit of an edge right now. And the fact that he's coming forward, I think, has a lot to do with that He's being the aggressor, well. that's correct. Take a look, uh, look at over the shoulder of Cornell Holton, and he's being taught by another legend, living legend, as far as professional boxing is concerned in the Washington, D.C. area, and that's, of course, uh, Darryl Terrible T. Tyson. And it, you, you'd only have to see uh, Terrible T at his last fight at the tunnel that we, we covered uh, he must have went to the Fountain of Youth to, uh, <laughs> to provide that performance that he gave us on the pro side of the fence. And uh, 
with uh, guidance like that on, on, in your corner, you know you're going to be learning some, some very uh, useful things in your, in your amateur career. Of course, thank folks at Crash Flow Production as well as the Hobo Shop for bringing this event once again. Such a success last year. It looks like it's on its way to being a success once again as we get ready for the third and final round of this bout. And I think that Daryl Tyson may have, may have told uh, Holton to put his foot on the accelerator in this last round. Maybe they have a sense that they need to pick up the pace a little bit to try to get into this thing because he's certainly being a lot more aggressive in this third, third round. But Harrison, again, landing some combinations. Just did it there. And it does look like Harrison is putting together a little bit, of, a little bit better shots at this stage. Well, he continues to be the aggressor, uh, despite the fact that I think Holton wants to do more. Harrison is still more or less imposing his will uh, on, on this particular match. Okay, into the final 15 seconds of this third and final round. And they're not just headhunting either, Gary. I'm noticing that you know, on occasion both fighters are going to the body as well as to the head. Uh, so, again, they've been well schooled, even at this young stage. As this third round comes to a close here for this first bout of the Platinum Gloves, we have the decision in a moment. Stay with us. Back here at the Washington Convention Center, where we had our opening bout for the Platinum Gloves in the 55-pound division. Cornell Holton in the blue trunks with the white trim, and Arthur Harrison in the black trunks. Great bout to start. And we get the official decision now from ring announcer, Discombobulating Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, in our first bout of the evening here at the 2002 Platinum Gloves Invitational, the winner comes out of the blue corner. So Cornell Holton out of Langdon Recreation Center, as you said, put on the accelerator. And he took care of business, and he won the bout over Arthur Harrison over, uh, of Hillcrest. Well, that surge at the end must have took him over the top, Gary. Uh, I, really, I really think that uh, he had to press, press the action, and he must have given the judges enough of a, a spur at the end to move in front of Harrison to, to, to basically steal that victory away. So Cornell Holton winning in the 55-pound group here at the Platinum Gloves Invitational. Have the interview in just a moment. Oh, yes, Cornell Holton and Cornell, uh, we, we thought you had to really press the action in that last round to, to get that victory. Did you feel like you were behind going into the last round? No. You thought you had it the whole time? Yeah. How's it, how was it being trained by a guy like Terrible T, Daryl Tyson? Fine. I love him. You love him? I love him. Okay, well, that belt looks pretty good there. Are you proud of yourself? Yes. Okay, stay with it now, okay? Okay, folks, that's a victorious Holton here, and we'll be back with more action in a minute. Stay tuned.